Perth's animal refuges overflowing as number of pets surrendered surges. Long-term renters are being driven out of homes, and it's now almost impossible to find new rentals that will allow pets. We need the Residential Tenancies Act to change in Washington, she said. Landlords prepared to have tenants with pets can legally only charge a maximum of $260 pet bond, only able to be used to fumigate the dwelling at end of lease. Many pet owners are prepared to pay a realistic pet bond so, if the law allowed for this, then more landlords might be prepared to take the risk which would allow for more fosters or adoptions. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. The number of animals we are being asked to take on has risen dramatically, and our adoption applications dropped from 1171 in 2020 to 2021 to only 660 in 2021 to 2022. These are expected to drop by a further 50% this year as we received only 25 across the whole of July. Clay said several other rescue groups had also been forced to close in the last two years including Washington Sharpay Protection Incorporated, Peekaboo Rescue and Community Support, and Kalgoorlie Dog Adoptions, which meant even less space for surrendered animals. King said he was hopeful that change could be made and foster numbers and adoptions would rise in the near future. A range of rescue groups have jumped on board and offered to be part of the committee not just ones focused on dogs, including Desperate for Love, Shenton Park's Dog Refuge, Staffy and Bully Breed Rescue, Bunbury Animal Rescue, Perth Rescue Angels, Give Our Strays a Chance and Homeless and Abused Animal Rescue Team.